Well, thing number one, of course, is please make sure that you're born to very good parents, which you've very luckily taken care of. So that's thing number one. That's going to take you a long way in terms of advice I'm going to give you. Secondly, since you've been given these great parents, you made sure you got some good parents, do listen to your parents because your parents love you more than anybody on earth is ever going to love you, probably. And they will be giving you wise advice that's based on that love. So that's the second piece of advice I give you. And then the third piece of advice, which is a slight deviation from that, is that you really do have to listen to your instincts. Your instincts are these wonderful things that we're all born with that tell you what to do in certain situations. It's like a little voice almost that doesn't have words, but it's saying to you, oh, don't go down that dark alley, or don't talk to that strange person, or that person is very nice and I think I will have a chat with them, and things like that. So you always know, your instincts always know best. The trick is to learn how to understand the message they're giving you, to learn how to trust your instincts. I think that's a very important one. But since, you know, like I said earlier, you've got these good parents, they will help to train you in that respect. And then the last piece of advice, which is very, very important indeed, not the most important piece of advice, but certainly important, always wear sun protection factor, at least number 30. I wanted to tell you that in order for other people to love you, you have to love yourself. And you may have heard somebody say that to you before, or you may have not. But there is so much truth to that. If you want somebody to think you're special and you're the greatest thing they've ever come across, then you have to feel that way about yourself. You have to emulate your self-confidence and your self-worth and the fact that you love yourself so that everyone else will catch what you're putting out and be able to appreciate who you are. If you don't love yourself, others are not going to love you and they're not going to treat you well. And your parents love you, your father loves you, both of you, and that's why I'm sitting here right now. Because he's already preparing for you later on to experience things that are going to be wonderful and some things that are going to be not so nice. You'll be able to pop this video in and listen to the words of all these women that he knows who he felt could say something to you that may enlighten you on your place in the world. And another thing is, don't ever, ever, ever tell someone that you're bored. Because being bored is an insult to one's own character. If you're bored, that means that there's something missing within yourself. You should be able to get pleasure from stepping outside and looking at the beautiful blue sky, or picking up a book that's going to touch your soul, or cooking a meal that's going to make your tummy feel good, or petting your cat or dog, or picking up the phone and saying something nice to somebody who may be having a bad day. There should be no such thing as 